The Sassanid Empire prides itself on its selection of archers, and the royal Persian archers pride themselves on being the best among them. But are they truly worth it, or will CA do as CA does and make them terribly cost ineffective, as is the case with all other elite skirmishers? Let's see. The royal Persian archers are unique to the Sassanids and cost a royal sum of 775 talents. To put that into perspective, buying one royal Persian archer costs the same as buying one camel clibonari, or three Germanic pikes, or six Nordic band. For such a large amount of money, they should logically pack quite a punch. However, as is the case with most archers right now, they simply do not cause the damage they need to in a short enough period of time for elite tier archers to be anywhere near cost effective. Taking a look at their stats, these units are a tier 3 medium archer unit. Their melee attack at 14 and weapon damage at 25 is frankly terrible and is confusingly lower than the Kurdish archers who have a weapon damage of 40 while costing a whole 150 talents less. The difference in weapon damage comes from the difference in weapons used by these two units in melee. The Kurdish archers go the traditional route and pick swords, while the royal Persians use a mace. There is not a single aspect that is good about the mace, save for its longer weapon length which means that the units that wield it have a small advantage in hitting an enemy first, or so the database says. Their melee defense is very good at 40 with a shield value of 30 contributing to that giving these units a higher chance to block melee attacks than many mid-tier melee infantry. It might seem like these units would be tanky enough to hold out in melee, but you never really want to get them in that position in the first place considering they won't kill anyone due to their low melee attack and damage, so the higher melee defense is basically useless. The Royal Persian Archers have male armor and carry a small shield which gives them a missile block chance of 20%. That, along with their relatively high armor at 28, very high health at 100, and an excellent base morale stat at 51, ensures these units will almost never lose to any other skirmisher, save for the brute force of the elite Belistari. However, the chances of such an engagement happening are few and far between, simply because the nature of the game right now is such that the role of archers is very limited. These units can and will destroy crossbow infantry if your opponent is not paying attention, but so can any other archer unit. These units also have a massive amount of ammunition, which is required due to their really high reload rates. An ammunition of 26 is crossbow level, but their rate of fire at 8 is similar to javelin skirmishers. In addition to this, they have the precision shot ability, which gives them a plus 50% missile damage, the steady ability, surprisingly, which helps out massively in a skirmish battle, increasing the unit's missile block chance to 30% from 20%, increasing morale by 3, adding 15 points to shield defense, while lowering movement speed by 25%. Finally, these units have both the disciplined and encourage ability, which gives surrounding units a very nice morale boost. So pairing these units up with cheaper skirmishers and keeping them behind infantry lines could benefit all of them. All things considered though, it is almost impossible to see Royal Persian Archers ever being cost effective simply because of their exorbitant price. They have all the traits needed to be an excellent skirmisher, but unfortunately lack many of the traits needed to be an excellent unit. Recommended upgrades, zero. Recommended role, waste of money. Recommended number, zero if you're feeling pragmatic. More than zero if you're feeling masochistic. My name is Blademaster. Hope you enjoyed this unit review and stay tuned for more.